Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the regular meeting of the uh, Village President, the Mayor, and Board of Trustees, Village of Burr Ridge. It is December 8th. Our uh, first, uh, first order of business, uh, of course, is our Pledge of Allegiance. And that will be uh, delivered tonight uh, by a young man named Rohan Chada from Gower West. Uh, his uh, favorite subjects are math and science. He's involved in the chess club, which is pretty, uh, pretty neat, with the Burr Ridge Park District and the Lego club with, through Gower West. He involved, he's plays tennis and baseball, and he's hoping to pl actually get in, play soccer uh, once he gets to middle school. Uh, Rohan and his family have, have, have traveled to the Turks and Caicos, and he's visited, uh, uh, visited India with his family and met over 100 people. I wonder what percentage of those were family and family with you. I, maybe, probably a lot of them, huh? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, he's here tonight uh, with his mom, Vishali, his dad, Rick, uh, and his sister, Rhea, uh, who's in at Gower Middle School. And his uh, pet turtle, Lucky, is not here tonight. Uh, he's been uh, with family, though, for, for six months. Now, if you'll, jo if you'll lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please come to the front. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Karen, may I have roll call, please? Sure. Trustee Francis. Here. Trustee Grasso. Here. Trustee Paveza. Here. Trustee Bolas. Here. Trustee Ruzak. Here. Trustee Maneri. Here. Mayor Straub. Here. Uh, first order of business, of course, is the audience portion. Are there any audience members uh, that would like to uh, address the board at this time? Okay. One person. Yes, ma yes, ma'am. Good evening. My name is Dolores Cesar. I'm presently in LaGrange. I lived in, on County Line Road almost 50 years. Um, two things I'd like to comment on. I asked Chief Madden before the meeting if one of the tactics in the police department is a chokehold. And I was assured that they have not used a chokehold in many, many years. The second thing is, I came down to Brookhaven yesterday and I noticed the brick pillars on the new bridge. Now I call it the yellow brick road because apparently some people think that that's going to lead to the land of Oz. Some people feel that that will put the city on the map, the village on the map. But there are many, many people in this village who don't care about the village being on the map. I would like to know the cost of the pillars, who's paying for the pillars. In other words, where is the money coming from? And perhaps that can be answered tonight. Dolores, if you want to stop by the village hall, I'll provide you with a complete report in writing uh, Big pardon? I said, if you want to stop by the village hall, I'll provide you with a complete report in writing. As you know, the um, the villages the village received an ITEP grant, a state grant, which covers 80 percent of the cost of the project. The other 20 percent is covered by the hotel motel tax fund. The remaining 20 percent is covered by the hotel motel. Uh, aren't they asking for an increase in the hotel motel tax? so that they can put, provide maintenance for all this stuff? Three, at least three or four years ago already, we, it was at, probably three years ago, we, we increased the tax 1%. I know, it was increased to 4%. Willowbrook is only 1%. But I think uh, I understood from several meetings ago that they are requesting an increase in the tax to cover the maintenance of all this beautification stuff. No, I don't know where you ever heard that, Dolores. Well, I'll review the minutes. Thank the, you. The maintenance of the bridge is a um, very small amount. Thank you. Thank you, Doris. Now, items on the consent agenda are um, all items listed with an asterisk or considered routine by the village board. It will be, act be enacted by one motion. 
There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a board member or citizen so request, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda. I we to move to the uh, tax levy at this point. Uh, the public no, hearing don't, first. Don't need to do the consent agenda first. Can we wait? Okay. Approval of the uh, minutes, uh, 5A, re approval of regular board meeting of November 10th, 2014. Uh, 5B, approval of regular board meeting of November 24th, 2014. Ordinances, 6B, <clears throat> approval of ordinance authorizing the sale or disposal of property owned by the Village of Burr Ridge. Remove. Printers are remo and scanners, removed by Trustee Bolas. Resolutions, adoption of resolution authorizing completion agreement between the Village of Burr Ridge and Joseph Pizzuto and Miro Carlina of the Vine Street main water main extension. Uh, the uh, considerations 8A, approval of vendor list in the amount of $217,974.16 uh, for all funds, plus $208,217 for payroll, for a grand total of $426,191.49 which includes special expenditures of $29,253.73 to Morton Salt. For road salt, uh, it's 415.3 tons, and $37,685 to Murphy Paving and Seal Coating for pavement patching. May I have a motion to approve uh, minutes 5A, 5B, ordinances, nope, under resolutions 7A and considerations 8A. Some of Second. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Francis. Yes. Trustee Grasso. Yes. Trustee Paveza. Yes. Trustee Bolas. Yes. Trustee Ruzak. Yes. Trustee Maneri. Yes. Six zero. <clears throat> okay. The um, next is the public hearing for the tax levy. Uh, need to call the meeting to order. I'm sorry. Need to gamble and call the meeting to order. The public meeting is now open uh, for discuss the tax levy. Yes, uh, the village board uh, will uh, recall that on November 10th, you directed the, the staff to prepare a public hearing notice uh, for a proposed tax levy uh, in the amount of $1,151,054. Um, the amounts are broken down uh, as follows, $334,832 for the corporate levy, $223,222 for the police protection levy and $593,000 for the police pension levy. As you know, the way we establish the levy is to, to set the police pension levy first, and then whatever is left over, uh, we divided 60-40 between the corporate uh, and the police protection levies. Um, the uh, limiting rate this year is 11.03. The uh, total amount based on uh, the increased, projected increase in EAV, and again, it's just an estimate. Um, um, the increase is $60,057. Will we receive that much money? No, but we always aim high, um, and that's the amount that uh, this calculation would bear, and uh, the total increase, therefore, is 5.5%. Remember that the village's tax levy uh, represents only about 2.5% of the uh, average taxpayer's uh, tax bill in the village of Burr Ridge. This uh, chart here shows that last year, uh, the example that we didn't receive as much as we anticipated uh, by about $24,000. Again, the increase in $60,057. You can see the um, levy breakdown between the three uh, levies. Last year, uh, the police pension took 48.7%. This year, the police protection, uh, excuse me, the police pension levy has increased to 51.5%. And um, the increase, um, Based on uh, this uh, calculation is about $3.38 uh, per, per uh, uh, homeowner, based on a $600,000 home. And 
uh, this is the one I wanted to show is, is you know, where the taxes go. Obviously, um, far and away, the school district receives the most in, in taxes. Uh, the village, again, less than 2.5% of uh, anybody's tax bill in the village um, uh, goes to the uh, village of Burr Ridge. Be more than happy to answer any questions regarding this year's tax levy. Again, the same as what we presented on November the 10th. Yes. Uh, which county does this represent, this dollar bill? Um, DuPage County, I think, in, um, I think it was, I don't know if you used the Gower School District. I think that's the DuPage one. DuPage County? Was. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was, I was reading an article last week about uh, the levy that was being proposed by DuPage County, and they claimed, the chairman of the DuPage County Board claimed that the uh, portion of the DuPage County tax bill is 3%. Here you're saying it's 54 so who's right? I think we're right. Again, this is last year. So, you know, they're, they're talking about your projected levy for this year. I think they reduced it. Okay. Um, but um, this, is, this, is based on, this is based on, yeah, it would be. This is based on uh, you know, last year's actual numbers. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Um, Horace? You know, I brought this up several times when I was on the board. If you look, look, pull this down a little bit more. It explains Mosquito Abatement District over a cent, one and a half cent. But the people in Cook County are also paying, uh, I forget the name of the vendor now, they also pay for that service, which I don't think is fair. The people in Cook County are paying twice. And I thought that it should be separated, that the Cook County people should not be paying for the work that's done on the DuPage side. And with all this technology now, I, I wouldn't think that that would be a problem. I was told at the time I brought it up, Oh, no, we can't do that. That's just too complicated. It, it's got nothing to do with complication, Dolores. The, the, there, that is a taxing body. The Des Plaines Valley Mosquito Abatement District is a taxing body. They, they levy a tax. They levy, oh, and, and, they are in, and they are in the Cook County side of the village. Now, we have to provide um, um, uh, uh, mosquito abatement for the DuPage side, and so the village has to pay for it because there are no other districts. But the people so, are, so the where people that money comes Cook from, County Dolores, are paying twice. Where that money comes from is not calculated Cook versus DuPage, okay? It, it just doesn't work that way, and there's just no way to be able to somehow rebate the residents of Cook County for, for a portion of, of the amount that we, that we spend for that. There, there's all kinds of situations where roads get built in DuPage and not in Cook, or Cook and not in DuPage, um, or, or whatever the case may be. Name um, one. And, and Dolores, it, there are it, all kinds. What are the kinds? Please, are there? please. Just please. the mosquito district. Th this is not a, a relevant topic for discussion. Tom White, I'm a former trustee of the uh, Burr Ridge Police Pension Fund. Uh, my comment is le levying for the police pension fund at the state minimum, which is designed to increase the deficit, is analogous to making only the minimum payment on the village's credit card and allowing the balance to grow out of control. You wouldn't do this with your own personal finances. Why let it happen to our village? Any other questions? Right. Um, I thought we decided at the last meeting that any possible increase in our contribution to the police pension fund would be discussed at the budget. And so tonight, if we're choosing to follow the state's suggested amount, um, it looks as though even if we get the levy that we're asking for, it's a $60,000 increase, but we are already putting 61000 into the pension, so we are already 
lowering the amount we have for corporate and the police protection. And that's presuming we get what we ask for, isn't that right? That's right, and chances are we won't, and therefore some additional uh, tax dollars will have to go toward the police pension levy, <clears throat> which means we'll start out the fiscal year with less property taxes uh, in the general fund than we did the year before. But if we end up seeing that we have a window of opportunity in our budget session, then we can increase our pension obligation if that's what we choose to do. That's right? correct. Is that different from any other year that we've considered this levy? No change. Any, any other questions? Do I have a motion to accept? Close the hearing. Sorry, close the hearing. Need a motion to close the hearing. I uh, may have a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nays. Okay, the meeting is officially closed, and uh, the meeting is officially reopened for the uh, village board meeting. Uh, now, uh, any further, any additional discussion? I'd like to make a motion to approve the levy. Uh, second. 6A, item 6A. Okay, it's seconded by uh, Trustee Ruzak. Any points of discussion? Nothing else? Uh, roll call, please. Trustee Grasso? Yes. Trustee Ruzak? Yes. Trustee Maneri? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. Trustee Paveza? Yes. Trustee Bolas? Yes. 6 0. The uh, levy passes unanimously, 6 0. On a 6 uh, ordinance of 6B, approval of ordinance authorizing the sale of disposal of property owned by the village of Burridge, printers and scanners removed by Trustee Bolas. Yes, I had a question regarding the um, HB Color Laser Jets, the four. How are these? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, didn't hear that. The HB Color Laser Jets, the four that are being uh, disposed of. How are the hard drives removed and disposed of out of those machines? The other ones don't have hard drives in them. Well, you know, that's a technical question that uh, Jerry would be able to answer for you that I don't know the answer for. Okay, if you can get us an answer, because there's quite a bit of information on hard drives of printers and make sure that we dispose of them properly and that there's no confidential, non-public information that is stored on those. So what you're asking for, Trustee Bolo, is you want the hard drives wiped clean before they're sent off to a third party disposal? Either degaussed or holes <laughs> drilled in them or to a company that does that, that type of work, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm confident that we do that, uh, but uh, I will have a jury report to you on that. Thank you. Any other discussion? I have a motion uh, to approve uh, item uh, 6B. So moved. Second. We had a first and a second. May I have a roll call, please? Trustee Ruzak. Yes. Trustee Francis. Yes. Trustee Grasso. Yes. Trustee Paveza. Yes. Trustee Bolas. Yes. Trustee Maneri. Yes. 6 0. Motion passes 6 0. There are other considerations, pronouncement, deliberation, and or discussion. Only, no action, no official action will be taken. Anyone else amongst the anyone? Uh, anyone else in the audience would like to address the address the board for any reason? Any uh, reports and communications from village officials? Yes, Trustee <clears throat> Grasso. I would just like to wish everyone a merry Christmas and happy holidays. I'll second. I, I, and that's all in agreement. Yes, absolutely. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, you've heard it. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays from the from the board to everyone in attendance, uh, both here here and on on TV. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Sorry. Roll call. Trustee Baveza. Yes. Trustee Maneri. Yes. Trustee Ruzak. Yes. Trustee Bolas. Yes. Trustee Grasso. Yes. Trustee Francis. Yes. Six zero. The meeting is officially adjourned.